spiritual training. Hey guys, wanted to drop in do this quick little video. It kind of dropped in this the yes between yesterday and today at some point. Um, so you know, spiritual training. Um, I've talked about it in, in a different video. It's where you start shedding your human self and you've evolved past where you can no, you have no more, um, like you've surpassed the human consciousness awareness and you start shedding all that stuff and you start awakening into the, the more um, soul consciousness, higher consciousness realm and you start receiving information. Um, and so that's where people would start channeling, working their uh, intuitive abilities, start coming in, their soul starts coming through. You might go through the dark night of the soul. You might go through a near-death experience. You might go through any of these processes that will help separate and break down the human version of self that you came in to have the understanding and work on you know, to be a part of this. And so it's actually you're just passing through the human version, the void, right? And so that's not knowing yourself. Right. And so that is the they call it the human void. Um, and so that is for that's when you come into the human version. And again, I've talked about where you can't bring all the information of who you are into the human body because it doesn't have the ability to process or, con you know, have that concept um, as a child, uh, let alone an egg and a, and a sperm. But you bring the light with you, the energy and vibration of source with you in through to the body, the human, the form you take that up. And then as you evolve through the human, you have your experience um, of what you are wanting to um, have as part as the human version that you were a match to. And then as we are going through the void of the human concept, because we don't remember who we are. And so then we are in the forgetting during the human version. So we, we come in knowing who we are. We go evolve into the human. So we don't remember who we are. So then we go into the forgetting. And then from the forgetting, we start to waken up, right? And that's the concept of the human version ending the, the ego, the void. Um, and then you coming into yourself, which now you are becoming into the spiritual training, right? And so now you have those like I said, who's channeling the information, channeling um, your higher knowing, your pieces of you or aspects of you. So now you're going back into the remembering of who you are, to remember who you are, right? And a lot of people are like, oh, I'm channeling. And so this came to me yesterday, last night, it was like a drop in and I was like, ah, oh. right? So yes, we are channeling, right? And so for the concept, for us to understand, a lot of us will look at it as we're channeling be beings and higher consciousness and awareness. And so, but it is, but it's a part of the remembering of who you truly are in the human version, right? Which is just the form, right? Because you're shedding the void of the human, con you know, the consciousness. Because what is the void? It's the not knowing, right? It's the absence of, it's the void. It's not darkness or evil, right? You're in this unknowing of yourself which is the realization of itself in its being that is being true to itself within the void, right? The concept of human, I am the version of Laura, right? And so I was born here, I did this, and I am this person, I'm a mother, I'm a sister, brother, student, you know, cousin, whatever. So that is the void aspect of self, right? And so being in the void, that is your consciousness, and so you think it is, right? And so you think it's true, but it's not, it's the illusion. The delusion right and so as you are waking up out of that you become now more and start to remember yourself and so that's the inflow of the higher consciousness awareness right whether that is coming through you or we can accept the understanding of you know who we're channeling or um, whatever that may be but then we are regardless of how you're receiving the information you're in now in the understanding and receiving of who you truly are bringing because you're now at a, a level where your consciousness can allow that to come in and raising the consciousness the awareness of the planet we're all going to be waking up and having this experience right and so we are on the rise of consciousness right not the descendant <clears throat> version 
which is the descending into the human consciousness. And so we can rise the ascending, which is the masters. We're all ascending masters, right? And so we come in to ascend, right? And which is the coming back to yourself, to remember yourself, to who you truly are, the understanding of all this. Um, which is the placement that has been created for us, for all of us on the path. And so at some point, everyone will. It's just, are you willing and, and wanting to? Or are you wanting to live your continuous life out as the human version and limit yourself to that space? And sometimes, you know, we go through lifetimes where we just do, right? Because we're not ready or we're not wanting to. And we just want to continue to fulfill that role, you know, maybe just for ourselves or for other people. Right? Because if we have that intention, that is going to be our fulfillment. But if we have the intention of surpassing that level of awareness and understanding within ourselves, then we will do that. Right? And we just have to plant the seeds for ourselves. And a lot of people will talk about, how do I escape the cycle? Right? And so that is it. You set yourself an intention, the seed, that I am going to evolve beyond the level in human consciousness. You just set the seed. You set your intention. You put it out into the universe, right? This is my intention. This is my goal. And so this is what I'm wanting to do. And you're manifesting. You're creating the ability for that to happen. Right? It's when you're done suffering the human consciousness that you have the will to create, to be a part of yourself in whole, united as one, from one conscious to another, right? So you're human form, your spiritual form, source form, into one, right, which is you bringing source, your higher consciousness, your soul, your trueness into the human form and transforming that in your perspective of your awareness. So then you are shedding the human consciousness and you're filling your whole form up with higher consciousness and so your spiritual teachings now are coming in and taking replacing you know the other stuff because you were the void right in consciousness your human self is the void in consciousness it's the awareness of itself being true which is false and so then it cancels itself out it's a void right the void of all that you can be which you can see from the human version of yourself conscious of being related to all things that doesn't exist because the only thing that exists is the other side and that is the consciousness that comes back in that helps you remember who you truly are right that retakes up the form from that point so now you are higher consciousness in form not human version in form right and so you make that space and that's the void that's the conscious void right to bring it in to higher consciousness to raise up right the ascending masters so we are all sending masters at some point. It's just where and will it, when are you willing to do and be it, right? And so it is your choice. We all have choice, free will, and it's been given to us. When are we ready, right, to shift our consciousness into the higher consciousness, to bring it into the human version of ourselves, right, <clears throat> so we can evolve on the timeline of all existence, right? And so from there, we're evolving, and as you're allowing all the information that conscious to come in to absorb it right and to allow it to um, penetrate into your very being right and so a lot of people when they're on the path um, and receiving the divine teachings and the knowledge and wisdom and they what they do is they always want to share but they don't want to integrate it and so they always think oh it's the message for you but who are they they are you right and so in you projecting that to others, you discount yourself, right? And so it's the being that really needs it is you. So then you, when you integrate it, then it goes out into the world. It's not you rejecting it and giving it to others. It's you embodying it, the higher conscious awareness, so that you can be it and show it in that way, right? So it's, there's a difference between you projecting and you reflecting, right? Because when you are it, it is in the world. Right? You're showing up in the world. It's like you having a good day, showing up in a good day. You having, you know, a good feeling within yourself. You're going to reflect that out into the world. But if you're projecting that, it's a different experience, right? And so we should always start with us first. So any in consciousness that comes in, higher consciousness awareness, we should embody it first. 
and then be in the world and share it with other people instead of projecting it on other people and not taking it within for ourselves, right? Um, because a lot of people on the path will not integrate it, right? And they'll just be like, oh, this is for you, this is for you, this is for you, you know, but you're seeing them in judgment, right? Because then they need it, not you, right? And so that kind of puts you in a whole different level of awareness um, from the space of actually integrating it for yourself um, and then sharing it from that point of view because you understand it and know it versus receiving the information and giving it and then you don't know it. That's your own awareness, right? Because then you're in lack <laughs> um, of the understanding and the evidence of it, which goes through your life, right? And so we want to in integrate it for ourselves and then share it so we have the understanding and knowing of it. And so that is just the real remembering of yourself. We come back into trueness, right? We remember ourselves within the human form after we've gone out and it's not escaping the human version of ourselves because we needed that to be where we are because we had a lot of consciousness that we had to work through and to understand certain things be of where we are and that is the taking out of the consciousness to go into the lack of consciousness to understand it from that point of view which is to learn from our experience um, and then we can help others right along the path. But again, if we're not integrating it within ourselves, then you know we are actually not helping others, right? And so it's from that framework you want to do the work, right? You do it. You do the work first, right? And so um, it's like having the knowledge, but not using it. So all the knowledge goes to waste, right? And so. <clears throat> with you integrating the information, remembering yourself, the true self that comes in, the information, whether it's from you divinely connecting or you want to say that there's guides, angels who are helping you bring that information in, we go with however it comes into you and for you, we want to integrate it for ourselves and then exist within the world because that sets like a foundation. Now, it's a set point. Just, it's what they're showing is like it's a set point for you for your next evolution, but it's also a set for, set point which helps brings and raises up the vibration and energy of the world because your next generation is going to be able to step off of that as a stepping point. And so you always do you first, right? And then you do for others. Right? And so it's to learn and to integrate your own higher conscious awareness coming in at that point. Right, and so that was kind of like the aha uh -huh yesterday when they had dropped that in. I was just sitting there chilling and relaxing because I got to take time out, you know, to revamp. So um, with that, you know, it was like, oh, that is the remembering, you know, because it's like at some, you know, I was starting to take it as like, okay, I'm receiving the spiritual teachings right? So I'm in training, right? But yeah, you are in training, but it's the remembering of yourself as well. So it's, you're in training of remembering yourself, right? And so that's the coming back home. So whenever you have reached this, know that you are on your way home. You're coming back to your true self, your trueness, and your, the inner dimensions are changing and shifting within you if you allow them to and to step out of the human consciousness into your trueness right and so your whole perspective and awareness is going to shift with that because then you're going to have the true teachings uh, from the other side coming in uh, versus the human teachings and the concepts of who you believe you are right and so it's not to negate your human self because we need it and we need it to be here that's why this is the way it is and that it, it's unfolding for us, right? Is to bring in the higher consciousness into the human consciousness to evolve from that level on that scale, that perception, which rises the consciousness in the world, right? And so, you know, don't skip over you, integrate you. That's one of the most important parts of it, right? And so to have that understanding you know, we'll, we'll, it'll be able to help change and shift the consciousness of the world. And it's a great jumping off point for your generations or the next uh, lifetimes that you have, right? And so that's from the understanding. And that's the evolution of it. It's like the, the pathway of the cycle, you know, allowing that to evolve for you, right? And so um, just a little channeling, because it wasn't long. It says spiritual training is you remembering. Um, and heaven on earth the earth angels sing, bringing the knowledge that we are, that we have forgotten, which is the not remembering, 
then not remembering that leads to forgetting, that leads to remembering in the time of awakening. And so the angels sing for times like this when we are all awakening, because they're happy and joyous, and so shall you be, right? And so you should be happy at these times, you know, and so not to look at it as a negative thing, um, but a positive thing, because all things are positive and potential for you to be more than who you truly are. And so we're all evolving out of the human form into a higher consciousness awareness, and that is like the shell that's embodying itself in trueness, in its own awareness, if that makes sense. And so pretty much that's all I wanted to share on that, because um, otherwise I'm just going to be kind of going over the same stuff, because it was very short drop-in, and that's pretty much just everything. If you have any questions, you know, drop them below, and then um, I can maybe try to expand a little bit more on that um, for you. But um, we are in training when we start receiving the higher consciousness, just to recap, but it is a remembering of yourself because you're bringing in that information or your guides are bringing in that information. So no matter where and how it's happening, you are, are remembering your true self, right? So you're embodying. So hopefully it helps and integrate the information. Happy journeys. Thanks for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe.